this is the circuit diagram that I'm using for the demonstration. I'm using the signal generator to represent the carrier wave and I've tuned the tank circuit to um, 400 kilohertz and the oscilloscope is connected to points uh, A for the ground and then B and C for channels 1 and 2 that you're seeing here. Uh, the digital meter is connected across the electrolytic capacitor um, on the positive and negative. So we have a, a carrier wave that's, uh, that's coming in and if uh, I move the frequency I'll go to uh, uh, 350 kilohertz and I'll go to 450 kilohertz and you'll notice that uh, these two signals are 180 degrees out of phase uh, but they, they remain at a constant um, phase position. Just verify that I'm centered. Yeah, yeah, both, both traces are uh, on zero. Now I'm going to change the position of the uh, second trace and I've now connected the, uh, the second trace to position D so I'm now looking at the other side of a diode and uh, just put a bit of gain on there and I'll just make them both the same height and I will zoom in and get some close-ups uh, of this but um, you'll see there is a, uh, a definite phase shift um, in, in this circuit. Now if I uh, reduce the frequency I'll just bring the amplitude up just for just so it looks something like the same um, uh, that gap has actually got a little bit smaller I'll go in the other direction Turn my gain down there. So, can you see that now these are almost uh, completely out of phase and they move closer together? The reason for this change of state is that when the tank circuit is energized with a frequency that is below its tuned frequency, the, uh, the, the tank circuit looks uh, like an inductor. Uh, we know if we put uh, a DC across the tank circuit, it would actually uh, pass through the inductor and if we have a very high frequency and we apply that to the tank circuit then uh, the current will flow through the capacitor so either side of the center frequency the tank circuit either looks predominantly inductive or capacitive those signals are stripped off by the uh, combination of the inductor and capacitor uh, L3 and um, C3 on uh, my modified drawing with reference to the ground point as marked on my drawing and it is that varying signal that is a, the resultant audio frequency signal from a frequency that has moved above and below the centre frequency here I have uh, the two meters connected across the homemade ratio detector. This meter is connected between the junction of L1 and 2 and the cathode of diode D1. This meter is connected between the junctions of L1 and 2 and the anode of D2. And uh, as I change the frequency, what we should see is these meter needles 
move in opposite directions. The system's not linear and there are some issues with my signal generator changing voltage as I change frequency but I want you to see in principle what's happening. So I'm going from a low frequency to a high frequency and the meters have done that. Now I'm going to go back down in frequency and the meters have done this. So low frequency high frequency low frequency. The sum of those voltages are of course being fed to C2 and uh, essentially those voltages add up to uh, an equal voltage um, yet clearly you can see uh, there's a difference across the two diodes and that difference is brought about by the phase shift in the tank circuit and because I'm hitting the tank circuit at frequencies above and below the resonant frequency of the tank circuit. Now I have this meter connected across C3 where the audio is taken from and I have this meter connected across C2 where the automatic voltage control is taken from and um, I'm just going to adjust the frequency and just keep the automatic voltage uh, line stable hopefully and this, this meter will increase as, uh, as the frequency increases It's going down as I decrease the, the frequency. As I, say, I have a problem with my signal generator is not consistent as I change frequencies so the voltage goes up and down which gives a false impression of the AVC line. But there you could see the, um, uh, the effective AF signal coming out of a varying uh, frequency so uh, a frequency modulated signal producing AC. I hope that's clear. It's the best I can do. If you have the time and the wherewithal, uh, this is a lovely little circuit to play with and uh, to try and get your head around the, uh, the phase relationships of the components uh, within the circuit. Uh, I hope I've done a half decent job of explaining um, uh, how, how this device works. Uh, if not, then I hope you can find some interesting reading uh, to, uh, to fill in the gaps.